Hey, welcome to our Tuppers with Natalie Callback, bite-sized tip for the mixed media artist. Well, that's a tongue breaker somehow. Anyway, so uh, today I want to talk to you about brushes, what not to do with a brush. There's a lot of things that we should not do with a brush. So first of all, what kind of brushes do I use? I don't use like the most expensive brushes, but I don't use the most cheap brushes either because, you know, I don't want to have all those hairs in my paintings and all that stuff. Um, why not like the most expensive ones? Well, because I don't do as I say, which would be clean your brushes every time that you paint, you're done with painting session, yada yada yada, and make sure that they are wonderful and nice. Uh, see, I don't do as I say. Uh, I, um, like, I'm a terrible person with my brushes because I'm done with painting and then it's like, oh, dinner time. I'm like, food, you know, that's like all I have on my head and I run down and then next morning I'm like, oh, I forgot my brushes. So, but one thing is if you're like me, right, and you forget them overnight, one thing that I uh, really make sure is that I don't fill my water jar um, higher than actually the ferrule of my uh, brush. So the ferrule, ferrule, ferrule of a brush is that metallic uh, piece here, right? That That is very important. First of all, um, this part here makes sure that your hair is like springy and goes back into shape. And then this part here holds your handle. And I don't want to have this, the water like higher than my ferrule because the water is starting to go inside here and then it eats away the glue, it starts to rust and then, uh, oh yeah, cool, after a while you have a new like detached uh, brush head and you're like, cool, that I can use it in my new like mixed media collage, whatever, assemblage thing. If you are taking care a little bit of that and you also want to make sure that you don't throw away all the time your brushes, which you shouldn't, you know, money, um, environment, you know, all kinds of reasons, then make sure. There you go. Very short and simple tip and that saved the life of a lot of my uh, brushes that were forgotten for 24 hours or sometimes longer. Okay, let's not talk about that. 